Welcome middle school administrative team. Thank you very much for allowing me to come here tonight and discuss my proposed academic development plan. As you know, I'm Andrew Hamer, a uh, high school science teacher, but I've been working in the middle school doing various observations, spending time talking to teachers, and um, kind of through my time spent in the middle school, I have found an area to address that uh, I think would be a great focus area for the future that would best benefit the students. Uh, the focus area of concern I want to talk to you about is reading proficiency. Um, as many of you know, within the Perry Middle School, it's a very diverse group coming from a lot wide range of families. 55% of students ELL, 75 free or reduced lunch, 13% of families living at or below the poverty line. Um, and kind of what we see as a result of this combination of factors is that 34% of middle school students are not proficient in reading as according to the Iowa assessment. Um, and slightly more than that are at a below a fifth grade reading level from a sample selected from the star reading data um, just from the eighth graders. And what this correlates to um, is we see that this reading deficiency uh, is also an indicator of success in other subjects as well. Um, so as you can see here, students who are below or who did not reach the, reach the reading benchmark on the ACT also showed significant struggles in math as well as in science. Um, and we see this, uh, it comes as no surprise just from being able to read and comprehend the instructions, uh, the content matter, and just being really to connect those ties. Uh, additionally, being below or not proficient in reading also correlates to uh, decreased learning oppor or earning opportunities in the workforce. So the goal I propose for the middle school is to have 80% of students become reading proficient by spring of 2023 so we can have three years to work on obtaining this 14% per increase in reading proficiency. Um, how we'll be able to track this is through the STAR reading data as well as the new Iowa standardized assessment, the ISASP. Um, and as part of this goal, we're looking to increase reading time in all classes uh, except for specials with a focus of mi 15 minutes per week or more of direct student reading um, and hoping to provide supports for teachers uh, as well within this goal so it's not just the teachers on an island trying to figure out how to best serve their students in reaching this. We know um, several studies have shown that increased the amount of reading or time spent reading also is going to correlate to higher reading scores. So that's kind of the rationale for why we want to um, spend direct focus of reading in the classroom. What the implementation of this would look like in our first year starting next fall would be to have um, teachers put a direct cognizant focus of incorporating 15 minutes minimum a week for students reading for each class. So this would be in math science, English, each of these, um, each dominion is going to have this incorporated. Um, part of the role of the teacher will be to try to model strategies, uh, promote discussion, trying to reach deeper learning, and they'll be able to review this in their PLC cycles of what's working, what's not working. Then by year two, we're looking to add um, an actual direct program, the CSR, Collaborative Stra Strategic Reading Program. This encourages students to preview materials, work on decoding, finding the main idea, and allows them to promote questioning and summarization. Then in year three, we could actually get a specific professional development that I'll show on the next slide here. This professional development would be through the CRISP program, Creating Independence Through Student-Owned Strategies. It provides experts in the field to actually come in and work with the teachers. Um, they'll provide supplemental materials and even do observations after the teacher has been trained. One thing particular that is beneficial about this program is that it is very ELL friendly and it helps students to organize their info and discussion strategies. So hopefully, in addition to increasing reading proficiency, we will also decrease the time teachers spent on just simple instructions that students are able to read on their own um, and create a more effective and efficient classroom. So thank you for your time. I do appreciate uh, just kind of listening and helping to build a stronger and better community for our students.